about learning and exploring and to get them doing, you know, to have the show inspire them to get active after the show, to go out in their backyard to look for real animals, to have imaginary adventure games, you know, from Z from Kratz Creatures to Zabubufu and now with Wild Kratz, there's a lot of, you know, letters coming in that families are playing these games together, yeah. you know, these imaginary really games, Wild yeah. Kratz, you know. Yeah. I think a lot of that is that Chris are doing the stuff we enjoy, mm -hmm. too, you know, we're excited about animals and the cool things they can do, so we bring a lot of that to it, you know, there's a lot of adventure, a lot of physical comedy. With animation, you know, we can get much more into dramatic stories. Um, we, can, we can do things like have creature power suits and worm mobiles and, and it opens up a whole new world, you know, for us as, you, you know, in, in order to communicate with our audience, you know, using, using story elements and, and fantasy. Well, one thing that was funny, like, on a crash creation in Supreme Food, people would always say, oh, you know, when you do those crashes, when you ride your bike off a cliff into the river, you know, when you fall in the mud, it's like you guys are living cartoons. And so now we're doing all that stuff in a cartoon, actually. It just doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> <laughs> well, we set up our own animation studio for this show because we really want, you know, we knew we were going to be animating a lot of animals that hadn't been animated before. We wanted to animate them properly, you know, the science behind them. So um, basically we set up our own animation studio, picked the best animators we could find, and... Uh, they're really excited because they're able to animate things that have never been animated before, and that's a big deal for them. And the funny thing is a lot of them are kids who grew up watching Kratz Creatures. <laughs> you know, we teach science concepts through animals. Our, our educational theme is animals can take you anywhere in science because no matter what science concept you look at, an animal somehow uses it in its daily life, whether it's peregrine falcons to go super fast, they basically use the force of gravity to drop in a stoop and accelerate until they reach speeds of about 210 miles per hour. So you can use these amazing animals to showcase basic science basic concepts. Basic science concepts. Yeah. Even something like electricity. An electric eel has three organs in its body that are basically batteries that create an electric current. So when that current is closed, the, the, the animal gets a shock. So it's... Um, so, so that's how we're using animals and their creature powers to um, teach about basic science concepts. Well, what we tried to do is do a whole bunch of exotic animals, but also a lot of backyard animals, so that kids can take the information they're learning and go out and see these animals and apply what they just learned to their observations in real life and maybe observe new things. You know, so there was a lot of stuff on fireflies and lightning bugs, which, like, like it was a great episode to do. <laughs> We're hearing, you know, do one on rabbits, do one on ladybugs, do one on lice. Because <laughs> apparently their school had a little lice infestation, so oh my God. they're curious about lice. <laughs> 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 <laughs>